In many financial calculations and conversations, you will hear the term market value of debt. This value refers to the price that investors are willing to pay for the current debt of a company. The reason why this value is important to know and calculate is because this value is often different than the value reported on a company's balance sheet. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how it is that you can calculate the market value of debt for any particular stock and also why this value is important to calculate in the first place okay so in order to find the market value of debt for a particular company the way to think about it is imagine all of the company's debt was a bond so if you think about it you can calculate the present value of a bond and if you take into account all the different components of a company's current total debt then you're able to essentially find the present value of that debt which is essentially the market value of that debt so what you need to do is apply the bond price formula that you can see right here and you only need to make a few key substitutions first instead of the c which is generally the cash flow this is going to be the interest expense that the company has the r is going to be the current cost of debt expressed as a percentage the n or the period is going to be the weighted average maturity which I'm going to talk about in a little bit and then F is going to be the total current debt of the company so I'm going to walk you through the formula and we're going to go through the calculation of each of these components the first thing that we need to do is to identify these components from the company's financial statements so in this case I'm going to get the financial statements for Apple but you can also perform this for pretty much any public company that you like and even private companies as well assuming that you can get this data so from the income statement right away we can find the interest expense which is right here so this is the interest expense that we would use in our calculation right here so I'm just gonna copy paste the value the other value that we can get right away from the company's financial statements is the total debt and this is something that we can find right here on the balance sheet and we can just navigate and see the total debt right here so this is the number that we're gonna go ahead copy and paste it right here so that we can perform our calculation only missing two values the cost of debt and the weighted average maturity for the cost of debt this is a value that can be calculated using financial data so what we need to do is take the current interest expense and then divide it by the total debt of the company so we could perform this calculation right here and this is going to tell us in terms of a percentage what is the current cost of debt of the company debt now where it gets a little bit tricky is calculating the weighted average maturity and this should be in years so in this case what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hard code a value it's gonna be a value of nine years but the way that you calculate it is following this table right here this is something that you can do in Excel but you're gonna have to go into the company's financial annual report or just the annual report and then from the information there you're gonna need to to create a table like this that lists all the different debts that the company has the maturity of those debts the amount of debt that the company has and then basically you're going to create a table like this that's going to allow you to find the maturity in terms of years so this is essentially how you calculate the weighted average maturity time now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate apple's market value of debt based on the information that we have right here so all we need to do we already have all the information all the data now we just have to plug this information into the formula and in this case we're going to use excel for this so the formula is going to be equals and then we're going to take the c which is right here times and then we're going to do we're going to put this in brackets this calculation one minus and then brackets again one plus the r which is right here perfect and now we're going to do it is this we're gonna take it to the power of minus n which is right here and then after that we're gonna take all of this so I'm gonna add another bracket and we're going to divide it by R okay you can pause the video if you think that I'm going a little bit fast and then we need to close this bracket 
Perfect. So now we've essentially performed this part of the calculation. So now we just do plus. And now what we need to do is take the F, which is right here. And then we are going to put this in brackets. So that way this calculation gets performed separately, divided by, and then in brackets, one plus R. And then for this calculation to the power of n again and then close this bracket great and now we can click enter and get the value so as you can see this is how you perform this calculation and the numbers in this case are exactly the same since this is probably the way that apple calculates its total debt and reports it into the balance sheet however keep in mind we just use some dummy numbers so for example one of them was the nine years if you change some of these numbers of course you will get a completely different answer so for example if I change the cost of debt from this number to 3% now you can see how you get a completely different number but what matters now is that you know how the calculation is performed from step one all the way to completion now you know how to calculate the market value of debt and why this number is important in the first place if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one